Hi, my name is Jeppe, this is my daughter Sally. We have a small family company in Sweden where we train dogs and dog owners. I have trained dogs and dog owners for over 35 years. We will now show you a short clip for you to get some inspiration for your own training. And since not all our students speak Swedish, we have chosen to do this in English. Good luck with your own training. We will follow six pups in the same litter. GSP wire hair. One is a very, very plain haired one, but it's still the same litter. They are today about 13 plus weeks, nearly 14 weeks. And we will see how they improve differently because of their mentality on the pups and the mentality on the owners and how they progress in the training. We will follow them approximately once a month, up to one year, and maybe follow up when we come to the field. Not decided yet. I hope you will enjoy the basic training to start with. We start today and continue every four weeks. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, now we have a look at all six puppies, what kind of interest they have over small uh, dummies. No training at all, just uh, play with it, throw it away and see if they go after it, if they like to come back to the owner or if they like to play away or whatever, to see the different kind of mentality and different kind of interest to follow something who has been thrown away. We have a look. Please, number one, play with your dog and send him away. Take the lead off, please. No pressure at all, just play with him and just throw away the dummy. And just throw it away. And then call him in, yeah. So, 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 well, uh, don't be too fast when you take it away because if you let him have it in the mouth a little bit more, and give him prey when you have it in the mouth, it's better, and then take it. But it looks very nice, no problem. This is number two, we have a look at your reaction about the dummy. So, very nicely, no problem. Go in, take it away, and that's okay. Don't give him a prey after, give him a prey when he has the dummy in the mouth. Don't take it out too fast, because if you take it out too fast, he will like to spit. Take it easy with the taking out. Number three, please. So, you don't like around that, is Tore av hans pannsfost. Så kan du leka lite grann med dammen så han tar ett par. Så är det. Okej, fru du är. Jag gör det. Lite mer på en sjö, men inga problem. Och sen vill han gå till den andra sidan. Och vara glädjad. Okej. Du kan se att han kommer väldigt glädjad in. And go to daddy, very good, and take it out and finish. Good. Uh, if the owner had been more active here, he has turning around and coming in at once. But you took it a little bit too easy. If you make it more fast, it come in better. Uh, number four, please. You can play a little bit before I take the lead off because you'll be interested of it. Yeah, just throw it away, that's enough. So, if you give him more courage, yeah, come on, he will come, he will come. Yes, very good. And go a little bit away, a little bit more funny. Come on, so, that's enough, it's okay, no problem. Uh, okay, we should have a look at number five. Number five, please, come over. The same as the other one, just play with the dummy and then throw it away a little bit. We have a look. Just play with it. Take off the lead, yeah. And then throw it away. Yeah, super. And then call him. 
Yeah, so, Good. and then positive. Come on, call him in. Abbe, come, come on. So, that's enough, no problem. So, can I, please sit down, just sit down. Yep. Sit, sit, sit down, so, and turn your back. And call, call him. Abbe, come on. Abbe, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. That's okay. We could go up and take, take, take him again and take the dummy. Yeah. And he tried to play, no problem, no problem. Uh, number six, please. He has a much more plain coat, but the same litter, but much more plain coat than the other five. Please do the same, yes. A little bit more alive. Ah, that's a good one. One more time. Take it up again and don't throw it so far away. Just let him see it before you throw it. Yeah, that's better. And just a couple of meters. Yeah, that's better. Come sit down. Yeah, come down. Yeah, that's better. Much better. And take it out. Now we have seen all the six pups with a small, small dummy. And the important thing to remember is to see how much interest there is from the nature, from the breeding, for picking something up. Get the attention to the dog so the dog comes into you. Be careful so you don't snap the dummy too fast. Number six, hold, have the dog to hold the dummy and give him a lot of prey when you hold it. That is the right way to do it. Don't take it away too fast. Get them in, no problem. Get them to hold it, that's the problem. So you need to give the prey when the dog has the, pop, the, the dummy in the mouth. Remember this, very, very important for future training. Uh, now we try to have the dogs in lead, but at the same time, the lead training is to start to have the lead dog under control. So I would like to have the, the handlers to have the hand, the right hand should be in 90 degrees angle. The lead lying up here, the left hand just relax. If the dog go forward, a small snap, not more than 25 centimeter forward, out and back. The dog should be in that range when you transport the dog, okay? So now we have a look at the dogs. If we like to go like this and be positive, don't have the lead strong. It should be slack the whole time. The first one, please, come. Positive, don't, don't, don't pull him forward. Don't pull him forward, positive. If you go forward, you pull him backward, okay? And turn around there. Next one, please. So, we make a hole here. Here you can see this dog is going the whole time on the lead because the, the handler, he do like this and like that and go like that. You can see when the handler has only one hand on the lead, the dog looks much more up to him, but he has his right hand too far up. Here is number three, a little bit too slow, must be much more active when he walks, and active with the left hand when you need to correct. Now is number four, a little bit too much on the ground, a little bit snap backwards and then positive forwards, that'd be much better. And here we have number one again, that's good, but he still has his left hand on the lead. You don't need that. And then positive. Very good. Here we come to number two. That's much better than the start. But he don't look at the dog. If he had looks at the dog, he gets more contact. Number three again. Same as last time. A little bit too slow. Much, much, much more on the dog in a positive way and also in a correction way. And number four. Same as last time. Too much on the ground and the owner is much too slow on the correction, much too slow. Here we can see number five. We will see how we follow his, his owner. Good con connection when he starts. A little bit more snappy with the left hand has been better. But it's okay, here we come number six. A better contact, a little bit better there than the last end, very good. One more time, please. Here we come again. 
You see, the owner needs to be a little bit more alert with the left hand. Not hard, but the faster correction. And number six again. Much better contact for number six. He looks much more on his owner. So that's much better. Now we have seen all six dogs in the lead. And I try to remember you about the angle of the, the right hand. It's 90 degrees for the elbow in front. So you don't touch the lead with the legs. If the dog goes forward or sidewards, the left hand come up before the, the, the lead is stretched and make a small snap and then positive. If the dog goes behind you and a little bit uh, tired or a little bit afraid, don't pull forward. Turn your body to the dog and be positive to get him up. Good luck. Uh, here we have a, a badger skin. It's, it's cleaned. So it's not have the, the, the very, very hard scent, but we'll let's, let's see how the dog reacts when they're coming. See the first time, never seen it before, just to see how they react in the brain. Number one, please. Just go through the skin, one meter from. Just take it easy so the dog could see it, and a couple of meters away, and then take the lead off and say, yes, okay. You could do that. So. And then say, yes, and go against the skin. Oh, that's good, no problem, no problem. And then you call them in a little bit, take it easy, so, yeah. So, no problem. He's very keen on that, just take the skin away, just to see how much there is in the dog. If it has been a, a, a new shot badger, has been much more problem, of course, but this is a, just the skin, but just to see how the brain reacts on the puppy. Okay, number two, please. Just do the same, just walk over there, take the lead off and say, okay. You can see that the pup is interested at once, no problem at all. Just take the lead off, yep, and say, okay. Straight in, no problem. A little bit more careful, see what it is, just take it easy, let him play for it. So, and now we say, yes, come on, yeah, and be happy, yeah, come on, come on. And then walk into him and take the skin. It's okay. So, so. If you wait too long, you could have the fight. The, the dog needs to say, it's mine. I don't like that. I like to have the interest, but I don't like to have, I don't, but this man, he likes to have the fight. I don't like that, okay? He shall leave it because when you take it, it's finished. Okay? Because if, if he will like to, to play the whole time, he will be more and more keen. Yes, there's a pup. One year later, he will say, it's fucking mine. And it's not. Number three, please. Just let him see it. Take it easy. He will see it. If we take the lead off and let him send him up to the skin and show the interest. A little bit more careful, sniffing around. And if the owner now says, yes, come on. So maybe he takes it. No, we don't do that. Just move away and he thinks that's okay. I don't play too much with it. And that shows the difference in the mentality. No problem, but it's just showing the difference in how keen they are in the skin in this age. It can change a lot. Number four, please. Showing the interest. And take the lead off. More keen on this one, and number three, jump straight into it. Sniff a little bit, lift it up. And now the owner can call the pup in. And she don't like to go in, she likes to take care of it himself, run away. You can see the difference in the mentality. This one says it's mine. So the owner needs really to go into it to get it. Yeah, you can see the difference in this, in this puppy and the other puppy at this stage. It can change a lot, but it's a big difference. Number five, please. Just go straight. You can see the dog has an interest. Just pass it, please. And then we go forward. And you can see it goes straight into the skin and take it. We have the lead on number five because you can remember on the dummy, he ran away and played too much because he's very, very, very independent in himself. He don't take care of his owner at all at this stage. Number six, please. Same. 
Interested, no problem. Just go past him and take the lead off and let him go to the skin. Sniffing around, a little bit careful, but no problem. Sniff it and lift it up. That's enough. Just to see the reaction of the dog. No scareness, the, the tail is okay and all that. So the owner take the skin, that's no problem. Uh, now we have seen all the six dogs against uh, the, the skin. Uh, the thing is, it, it's a prepared skin, so it's not the same as a, a fresh one. But you can see all the, all the six pups are not afraid to go up to the skin. And that's very positive. Uh, none of the pups have been introduced to the water before. So now we just will move down to the water and just take this small dummy we had from the start and just play a little bit and just, just put it 50 centimeters from the shore and see if the dog is interested to go into the water and take the dummy up. So we will have a look at that. Just to, see, just to play, just to see how much interest there is in the water passion. We will have a look at that. Here we see number one. Go down and the owner just to play with the dummy in the in the grass to get him interested and just put a little bit out in the water as you can see the dog is not too interested in that you have a look at the tail wagging but he looks more at the owner than he looks at the water so he's not too keen on that you can see he will look down but he's not too keen to get wet feet Here number two, please. He tried to get the puppy interest of the dummy and do the same. And you can see the same reaction as the first one. He's not interested at all to go into water. Here is number three. Start the same way, play a little bit with him. And just put it in the water and scratch him himself, not too keen. And then put the dummy in the water. Yeah, and in the water, yes. Little more interest, little more wagging in the tail, but still not too keen to go in the water. The same as the other ones. Yeah, it's the same reaction this one. Number four. Here we play with the with the dummy and then put it in the water. Yeah, you can see it's the same the same reaction, not too keen at all. It's not deep water, it's very shallow but it's not interested to go in. So the same reaction on number four. Here we can see number five, make the same training. A little bit interested, a little bit with the front leg, but not too keen. Look back and say, no, 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 daddy. It's not for me today. So he don't, he not too interested in that. So it's the same as, as the other ones. Number six, here we have, also the same reaction, sniffing around, a little bit keen, but not too keen to go into the water. So they're very careful with the water. So the whole litter is, is okay, but a little bit not so much interested of the water. Now we have seen all the six pups in the water with a small dummy. You can see the interest is not very keen. So the thing for the owner now is to, it's still September, so the water is still quite okay. So the thing is now to play a little bit in the water with the dogs before the winter comes. So you get them more introduced to the water and maybe have a two, three play in the water with the dam and all that. Now the coming month, because then we have a long time when it's winter and they're very cold. So the springtime they are keen to go in the water again. So we will follow this up after the winter time. Now we have seen all the six pups and how they react on different kind of situations. And uh, I think it should be interesting to see the same litter, different kind of mentality. 
on both the, the, the pups, of course, and also about the owners and see how they could find each other in the best way for future training. I hope you will enjoy to follow us in about four or five weeks from now for the next session and then we will have a little bit of more group training and then we will continue every three, four or five weeks to give you a small clip of how the training goes on. I hope you will enjoy it.